welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force. I'm Crafty Fox and today we're going to be building some Russian military excavators. And I have two different designs. So one is going to be an Ural EOV 3521 while the other one is a Kamaz EOV 3523. So they're both pretty similar but they're actually two different designs. The excavators are slightly built differently. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look at them. So first off we have the Ural truck, you know, headlights, uh, the modern uh, Ural design. And then here in the back we have this excavator that's all folded up. There also is, you know, the Z marking right there and also on the back of this. Like this. It could be used for military um, engineering, stuff like that. Although I haven't really seen it being actively used. You might see them in convoys or on trains, that's where I've seen them. There also are these stabilizers here on the sides. They can like uh, branch out. And I think over here is like a spare tire. And then here is the cabin. Pretty cool. And then here we have the Kamaz. Now I actually did change the design of the Kamaz trucks moving forward. I'm going to use a full block for the windshield before I just use a slab because I feel like maybe that looked a little better. But, but just to stay consistent, I'm going to make it a full block so it does, you know, look better and matches the other vehicle, how the windshields are like. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be a different change on all my Kamaz trucks. And then here's the excavator in the back. As you can see, you know, got the marking here. And the excavator is a different design. So here are them side by side. I think this one is actually a little bit longer. It's definitely a different design. And even in the back, see the excavator part here versus this one. It's totally different. I feel like this one is lower, especially with these uh, signs on the side. Well, this one is like a slab up like this. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the design. And it's actually a commission by an anonymous person. I believe he was from the UK. But yeah, thanks to him for making this video possible because as you know, I'm moving away from tutorial videos. This is gonna be one of the last tutorial videos on this channel. So before we finish the Nimitz aircraft carrier back over there, I can still do a couple more tutorials. I'm working on the Halo Pelican, someone commissioned that. Um, the NASA Space Shuttle, that's gonna be probably on Crafty Fox MC. And this person also commissioned some other Russian military trucks like the bridge layer that's going to be coming, the ARS-14 decontamination vehicle, and uh, maybe there was like one extra one. But yeah, let's get started on the excavator. All right, so first off, we're going to grab some materials. We're going to take polished blackstone brick, polished blackstone brick slab, and a wall, dark oak button, dark oak trapdoor, nether brick slab. So first off, let's make the front wheel. So just a polished blackstone brick block. Skip two, add another one here. Polish blackstone brick slab on top. Nether brick slab, two blocks long for the axle. And walls in the front of the wheels. Dark oak buttons on the side of that. So that's going to be our first axle. And then we're going to skip four blocks. So one, two, three, four. After that, a wall. Skip a block, another wall. Then we'll add in polished blackstone brick block here. And slabs on top. And then nether brick slabs for the axles. And then dark oak trap door, two blocks here. And then we'll make the other wheel on this side. Just like that, dark oak buns. Just like so. All right, then in the inside, we're gonna add in two by four of polished blackstone brick blocks. Just like that. And then polished blackstone brick walls in the back. And then we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slab underneath those walls. All right, so let's grab some blocks, a dark oak um, fence gate, sign, dark prison marine stairs, green terracotta, dark prison marine slab, polished blackstone stairs, smooth quartz block with an item frame. So first off, let's go over here, take a green terracotta, add in two blocks wide here, Extend it towards the front, make it two by two actually. And then we'll add in another two by two behind it. It's like four blocks long now. Then we'll add in upside down, dark prismarine stairs right there, dark prismarine slab here. And then two blocks wide, stairs like that. And upside down stairs underneath it. Dark oak signs, two blocks wide. And then a polished blackstone stairs. Other side, same thing. Item frame, smooth quartz block for the headlights. And then dark 
um, oak fence gates. Two of them here, open them up. Alright, then we're going to grab some more materials. We're going to take a dragon head, a nether brick wall, mossy cobblestone wall, diet wall, dark prismine stairs, green carpet, and then um, a green glass pane, and we're going to place this one right here. And then we'll add in four blocks wide of nether brick wall, then one in the back corners, upside down, dark prismine stairs facing each other like that. Two by two green carpets, and then two green carpets like that. We'll add in our uh, dragon head right above this wheel. And then a diorite wall, moss and cobblestone wall, and then the other side, uh, diorite wall, moss and cobblestone wall, and then uh, dark prismarine stairs, and then we'll add dark prismarine slab. And then another brick um, fence right there. It's going to be a dark oak fence gate over here. Open that up. Another brick fence in the front of it. And then down below here, upside down, dark prismarine stairs. Let's grab some more materials. Acacia button, dark oak trap door, deep slate tile, wall, polished black stone brick stairs and wall and slab all right so we'll make a two by two deep slate tile walls here acacia button here both sides and then a dark oak trap door underneath it we'll do the same thing on the other side all right then we'll add in upside down polished black stone brick stairs here then a wall, and a slab underneath. Other side will do the same thing. Stairs, wall, slab. And there's also going to be a dark oak trap door here. Then we'll go in the back, add in two polished black stone brick slabs here. A dark oak trap door two blocks wide. Then this side's going to be a dark oak fence gate. And then in the middle part, we'll add in a nether brick fence, uh, two blocks wide. That. All right, next up in the back part, we'll add in polished blackstone brick block here, two blocks wide. Upside down stairs, facing the back. A dark prismarine slab here. And we're going to add in two blocks like that. I think it actually goes yeah, all the way across around it and it's going to be a diorite polished diorite slab on the sides one on this side and the rest is going to be uh, dark prismarine like that then we'll add in dark prismarine stairs back to back upside down like not upside down i mean right side up two by two like this and then slabs on the sides then there'll be this two by two of black glass blocks green carpet on top two by two, and then a dark prismine stairs here, then over here upside down, and then the right side up. We'll add in green terracotta, we'll make that five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. Upside down, dark prismine stairs, and then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here, open that up, and then we'll add in a dark prismine slabs, two blocks long here. And then a polished black stone brick block here, a wall, and our dark oak button right there. So we'll add in a warp sign, and we're going to make that go all the way across around the front. And the side, just omitting the area where we have that diorite. But uh, everything else, I think, is very good. Actually, in the back, it goes like that. But on the sides, we don't cover that up. There's also going to be a warped uh, fence, 2x2, two two, like so. Then we'll add in sea pickles on top of this. A dark oak fence gate here, open that up. Then chain, two blocks long. An iron bar. And the other side, add iron bar here. Chain. 
and a spruce button here. Uh, warp trap door, two blocks long, and a light gray carpet, a lever, pull it towards the back, and then a black stone button right here. Gonna try to make it straight like this. All right, then we'll add in a cobbled deep slate slab here. Dark fence gate, open that up. And then a polished black stone brick slab, gonna add in two on diagonal. That dark oak shop door side, close it up. Dark oak sign here. Other side, do the same thing. And polished black stone brick stairs facing towards the front. Just like that. All right, in the back, we'll add in a birch sign right there. Then over here is going to be another brick uh, slab there. Over here, we'll add in a warp button there. And then those are going to be gray carpets in the front like this. And then a green glass pane is going to be kind of diagonal to that iron bar on this side. Just like that. I'm going to add another polished black stone brick slab here. And then to the side of the cab, we'll add in two blocks wide of dark oak signs like this. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Ural Excavator. Alright, to get started on the Kamaz Excavator, we'll need another brick slab, polished black stone brick slab, polished black stone brick block, wall, dark oak button, dark oak tr uh, trap door. So first we're going to make that first axle, so we're going to add in polished black stone brick block. Slab on top, wall behind it. Two blocks long, nether brick slabs. Polished blackstone brick block. Slab on top, uh, wall after it like that. Then we'll add in dark oak uh, buns on the side of it. And then we're gonna skip four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Add in a wall, skip block, wall. Blocks here, slabs on top. Uh, nether brick slabs, two blocks for the axles, and then dark oak trap doors in the middle. And we'll add in the wheels on this side, pretty much the same design, and dark oak buttons like this. Then we're going to add in polished blackstone uh, brick blocks. Make it two blocks wide. And I guess this is five blocks long. And in the back, we'll add in two blocks wide, polished black stone brick stairs. Then wall on the side, and then slab underneath. And then I think the slabs actually go all the way across in the back. Then a wall here. Alright, after that, it's going to be a polished black stone a brick block here, two blocks wide, and then stairs. Um, they could be upside down. All right, and then over here, it's gonna be a dark oak trap door, uh, both sides. And then there will be this um, deep slate tile wall. Make it two blocks wide. And it's gonna be five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. Just like this. And then polished blackstone brick uh, wall here, both sides. Then slab underneath it, both sides. And then the stairs gonna be facing towards the front, both sides. All right, next up we'll add in polished blackstone brick block here, and then uh, nether brick block here, and then upside down polished blackstone brick stairs. After the front first wheel like this, I'll add in a dark oak sign in the back of these wheels here. Then we'll add in a dark oak uh, trap doors, both sides. And I think I actually made a mistake. This part over here, where that's going to be two blocks wide, another brick blocks actually. All right, then we'll add in deep slate tile block here. And then the stairs facing the middle. And then the stairs upside down on the sides. 
All right, then we'll add in the first part. It's going to be a polished black stone brick slab here, and then polished black stone slabs on the sides. Cross like that. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick slab here. And there's going to be this uh, polished deep slate uh, slab. Like that. And then uh, green terracotta here, both sides. Green terracotta here, and then polished diorite to be on the left, then green terracotta on the side of this, upside down, uh, dark prismarine stairs like this. And then we'll add in four blocks wide, green terracotta right here. Then we'll add polished black stone brick wall, make an L shape here. And then one here, and then polished black stone brick block, slab on top. And then a uh, dark prismarine uh, slabs, four blocks wide here. Then one in the front corners, each side. The middle part is going to be warp slabs, two blocks wide. And then daylight detectors all the way across. And we're gonna turn all of them blue except this middle part. Then we're gonna add in black concrete, you know, two blocks wide. Upside down, nether brick stairs on the sides. And then walls, four blocks wide. Then another brick fence on the sides of that. All right, and then a dark oak sign side of the stairs. Then we're gonna make the lights. So we're gonna take a stone button, acacia button. So we'll place stone buttons for the headlights, acacia button, and then stone button, acacia button, then stone button. Back of this is gonna be another dark oak um, sign right there. Another one right here. And then we'll add in an L shape of warp fence. That dark prismarine block here, slab in the back of it, slab in the front. And this um, polished black stone slab like that. All right, then on top of this is gonna be a uh, green terracotta right over here. And I think that's five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then a dark prismarine stairs, another one upside down here, then facing towards the back. And I think another one, it's going to be right side up this time. Just like that. And then we'll add in green terracotta, we'll make a two by four. And then we'll add in uh, this polished diorite slab here, dark prismarine stairs on either side of it. And the back corner is going to be a bamboo slabs. And then dark prismarine slabs, two blocks wide. And then uh, dark prismarine slabs, wrap it all the way around the base of this excavator. Like that. Cool. Then next up, we'll add in a two by two of black glass blocks. Another two here in the back, so it makes an L shape. Then we'll add in a um, white fence 2x2 two two with sea pickles on top and green carpet covering up the roof. All right, then on this side, we'll add in uh, dark oak signs, two blocks long here. And there's also going to be a birch button right over here. Other side, we we'll take a warp button, put it right here, then two dark oak signs. And we'll take out black carpet, add it two blocks long here, other side, do the same thing. And then a dark prison rain slab right there. We're also going to add in a green glass pane, and we're going to make this go alongside of that, make it a little L shape. Actually, it's just two blocks tall. It'll be at the L shape once we add these iron bars, so two blocks like that. The side, two blocks tall, and bars like that. Alright, next up we'll add in some more materials. We'll take out uh, redstone dust, dark oak fence gate, um, dark prismarine stairs, uh, warp trap door, light gray carpet. Alright, that's it for right now. So first off in the front, dark prismarine stairs facing the back. 
slab here in the front, then a warp trap door, uh, light gray carpet, and then dark oak fence gates on the side of it. Open the one in the front, both sides. And then over um, here, we'll add in redstone dust two blocks long. And then we'll need a blackstone buttons, another two blocks long here, and then a chain going diagonally. Other side, we'll do the same thing. So buttons and then chain, just like that. All right, now we're gonna make the bucket. So it's gonna be a dark, I mean, polished blackstone brick stairs facing towards the back right there. A daylight detector here. And then a dark oak trap doors on either side of this bucket and close that up. Polished blackstone brick slab underneath this. And then two dark oak trap doors like that. And we're gonna make this turn blue. And also add in dark oak signs on the side of the daylight detector. Just like so. Add in a wither skeleton skull and we'll add that one right here. And another one on top of this fence on the side. All right, next up, let's go down here. And we're gonna add in a spruce fence gate here. And it's gonna be a dark oak trap door. We'll need to make a two by two here. And then on the other side, add a polished black stone brick slabs, two blocks long here. A dark oak trap door here. And then we'll go back over here. Add a polished black stone brick slab here, and then a dark oak trap door like that. All right, so that's pretty much it on how to make both excavators now in Minecraft. Thanks again to the anonymous donor who commissioned this build. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, let me know down in the comments and leave a like. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.